My name is Emily Abley. I grew up in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and now I'm here uh, starting work at uh, Brookings Health System and with Avera Medical Group um, here in Brookings. In the just short term thinking about uh, what moms are kind of interested in uh, is that it does uh, help moms lose the uh, baby weight, so to speak, um, and get back to their pre-pregnancy uh, weight a little bit faster um, just because they are working harder to uh, metabolize and uh, give food to baby. The other things that uh, it does, it lowers their cardio cardiovascular risk, um, decreases the buildup of plaques, um, and overall helps um, them have uh, healthier hearts. Um, also decreases the risk of diabetes in those mamas. Um, and then other things that are really important are that it decreases the risk of breast and ovarian cancer uh, for the mothers who do breastfeed. Um, so that's kind of a huge thing that we think about in uh, obstetrics and gynecology as uh, a woman ages uh, for risk factors for those sorts of cancers. There is a, There are guidelines that say um, to breastfeed for six months and that's what the WHO uh, definitely recommends that for sure that uh, amount, um, but uh, ideally continuing some uh, breastfeeding until about a year. And mothers can choose, uh, mothers, mother and infant pairs can choose to breastfeed longer, um, but there's other uh, food supplies that uh, they need to start getting starting at about six months uh, so it starts to be more of a supplement as opposed to something that's actually required. There are a lot of different norms for moms that are breastfeeding. So you can have moms that need to go back to work and so um, they have to do a lot of pumping um, and using the pumped breast milk to feed baby um, and that is also it is breastfeeding and it is uh, a great form of feeding baby. It's gonna give baby still the same nutrition, still the same benefits of breastfeeding. Um, and so that's definitely uh, a way that uh, if time or space is not uh, an availability for a mother and baby pair to uh, continue um, uh, breastfeeding uh, together um, or sometimes there are um, issues with latching and moms and babies uh, just aren't able to get uh, that part going but they can still pump and uh, give baby the milk and it still is getting the same benefits. Uh, we uh, are a baby friendly hospital and so we have uh, specific uh, education and um, things that we do to make sure that mothers are success successful in breastfeeding um, and that includes having lactation consultants that are available for all of our new moms, um, having uh, nurses and providers that are all on board and helping with moms getting started breastfeeding. Um, and then we also have uh, something called the Baby Cafe where uh, moms can come um, at any point that they're breastfeeding and get support from other moms and from a lactation consultant, um, be able to do a way feed way uh, type of approach to make sure that um, you feel like you are feeding baby um, and baby's getting enough uh, to eat. Cause sometimes it's hard um, not knowing really, oh, I don't know how many ounces baby ate. Um, are they getting enough? Are they gonna be satisfied? Are they still gonna be able to grow? Um, and being able to have that immediate, yes, uh, baby has uh, gained this many ounces between when we started and when we finished breastfeeding gives moms a lot of reassurance that they're doing something right. I am a uh, an expecting mother right now and uh, I plan on breastfeeding um, because I know uh, how good it is for moms and babies um, and I am excited to be able to form that bond with my baby um, so it's uh, an exciting time to be able to um, get to be a part of that and learn what it's like to actually um, be a mother and uh, 
feed my child through breastfeeding.